So I run a die woman. And my husband, Brisa, I tell you, Mimi, oh, I let her have a brother here, Mimi. So Rana, you said, man, she said, my woman, I'm a Mimi, oh, I let So you knew, oh, and I woke up with you. So you're hello. You're down. You're down. So, M.O. Oh, what did you do? That's your business. You're a little bit of 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 a little and when I say, I'm going to have a boya. Yeah, but boya. When I say, I'm going to have a boya. So, that's where you are, man. One time on the hour, I'm going to have a boya. So, 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 yeah, for him, I'll pass up. No, go away, you're Okay. Okay. Let me say hello. And do it by the floor, you. Yeah, yeah, for a Today, today, I and I'll be In Jesus mighty name, the Bible says in all things we should give you thanks, whether good or bad. Hallelujah. Let us bow our head and go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we say thank you. You are the king of kings, the rock of ages. The rock of Gibraltar, there is no to be compared unto you. From day to day, you serve me, God. Generation go, generation can you never change. Father, we have come to say thank you. A heart to say thank you, but we have come to say thank you. Lord, every plan, blood of the enemy, we come against her by the blood of Jesus. Every food, every water, Lord, I see it with your blood. For I say, in your way, we bow on her, shall be by her. And whatever we lose it on her, shall be losing. Lord, everything of God, every place of the enemy to be confusion, division, palava. I come against them by the blood of Jesus. I cover each and every one of us with your blood. We, we pray, oh God, that you are given peace, joy, unity, that your name alone will be glorified. Take your glory, take your honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Power for prayer. Power for prayer. Maybe wake up. Oh 
拿给。
Ah, yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay. We are moving gradually. Oh.
na ambe adofo ge no cha ibo ku acha ne kuba abadu ai tin blao ko kai ne bo yonde ni ode ada ai ni si onya ai juwo ne do de amoko ye ti o we have been on doing and a song and a song for that matter at least Continue to appeal to him. He, he doesn't want to do it. He, he, he said he like it here. 
but he was sick. And there is no better medical treatment here for him based on his condition. He has so many things that were going on at the time. We didn't know about it. But because of the situation, we tried to plead with him to come back to the States. He said no, he didn't want to do that. So in that, we realized that if we continue to send him money, he will stay here and something worse will happen, which we don't want to happen. Because he's our only order of men that, that is left with us. So my older sister, Teresa, she said, Natanya, if we continue sending the old man money, something going to happen to you over there. I agree with, him, I agree with her. I call my older brother, and we decide we're not going to send him money anymore. The first month, it was a problem. But it wasn't a problem, because he went by it. The second month, he started getting a problem. The third month, he called, he said, you call my older brother, he said, send me a ticket, I want to come home. We bought a ticket, and he came. But at the time when he came, he was very, very sick. I couldn't go to be at the airport because I was the chairman of a convention. So, my other uh, cousin, Jerry, on my side, son, a little sister son, one of his little sister son, when they go pick him up. But when they brought him, the old man was really, really sick. He got to ride in the wheelchair. He couldn't do anything for himself. When they brought him, I seen that we took him to the emergency room. And he stays in the hospital for one week. After they discharged him, after two days, he went back to the hospital again. He was there for two weeks. That's when the doctor told him, if you are not calm, after a week, you will die in Liberia. That was 2011. And after that, my brother and myself and other family members, we continue to take care of him. Take care of him. And uh, in that process, I moved. My older brother was the first person to move. And after I moved. So when that happens, we told him, say, oh man, we're no longer in the states where we used to live. So move over to us here. The first person he went to, another brother of ours, Samson. He went to Samson place. He was there for a while. Samson was about to go to King uh, come to Liberia. Samson brought him to Carlton House. We were all living in the same area, in the same state. And he was there with Carter. But every time the old man continued to get sick, he had that be pressure, all type of sicknesses. And everybody standing here tonight, you need to give a flower to a person when the person is still alive. If any one of you that know Amos Gay, see Carter Gay, please tell him thank you. Carter took care of our father until his death. He was sick and Cotton was taking care of him while his own wife got involved in a motor accident that nearly took us life. Right now as we speak, the woman cannot still walk like the way we walk. It was a dangerous accident. But he's bad down to take care of his father. As God will have it, I'm in the state now where she had an accident. So we interchange. I take care of the wife and he take care of our father. So in the process while the woman was sick, the doctor called her and said, your father is, is very sick. You need to take him to somewhere that he will be better taken care of. But you cannot take care of him. He needs 24 hours service. You cannot take care of him by yourself. At the time, wife I got into an accident already. The doctor said, your wife is in an accident. She's in a critical condition. She had a numerous surgery on the back of her neck and every part of her body. You cannot take care of your father alone. So you're going to take him somewhere else. So we did. We took him to another uh, 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 area. He did. Uh, I would have did it on the Zoom, on the phone. And uh, he and myself discussed that we're moving and they're talking there. But every time the woman was getting sick. Every time he was getting sick. At some point in time, they called us and said, 
We cannot take, we can no longer take care of your father. His condition is not improving. So you gotta make a decision, either take him home or you find somewhere else to take him. We cannot take keep him here. So he and I, Jared, Teresa, we all came out of the conclusion. Let's take him back to the hospital. At the hospital, after a couple of days, we saw his health was declining. There's nothing else that we could do. 